Right, what's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're playing some Cars 3. So I was going through kart races and everything. I was looking through Steam, PlayStation, everything. And I realized I had this. Uh, so I figured I never really played it. So I thought, why not give it a go? And I'm actually pleasantly surprised at how good this is. Uh, you can go back. This is the intro and you can go into the options basically and redo the intro as many times as you want. Uh, it's just like a tutorial. This is also really nice. It just sort of sets the, sets the tone of the game. Looks really nice. Graphically, I think it's lovely, you know? It's not going to set the world on fire, but it's yeah, it's nice. It looks decent. You know exactly what sort of cartoon it's from. And I'm a fan of Cars. I think it's you know, some of the better, better films. Um, don't know if that's a popular opinion or not. But yeah, I was a big fan of them. And I played Cars 1, Cars 2. I even had like the Disney, Infi Disney Infinity set they did. And that was really cool. Like, you know, they're simple, they're basic, they're straightforward. Yeah, they're not reinventing the wheel, so to speak. But they're really nice. They're just family friendly fun. So on PS4, this came out Wii U and PS3, and then it came out on PS4 and Xbox and everything. And on PS3 and Wii U, you can't do split screen, but on all the other consoles, it's uh, four player split screen, which is really cool. Um, it's also like, like now it's on Switch and everything as well. But yeah, if you if you like if you're a fan of kart races. I mean, this intro bit I'm just doing just to show you literally the intro. Uh, the actual racing does get a little bit more exciting. And I'll be honest, it's tough. Like, I've kept it on medium, which is just like its default setting. Uh, and you can you know, choose be before each race you can choose. But man, it's proper tough. Like there's different things you can do in, in each race. You know, different like sort of ways to get your boosts up. You definitely need to do them. It's a kick your ass otherwise. But yeah, this beginning, and there's, there must be maybe 20, 25 different vehicles you can unlock, different characters from the film. Um, once we're through this tutorial, we can. I've turned off all the prompts as well, which is why it's not showing us what to do. But I figured I, I know how to play the game now. Here we go, we're going to go into a little bit of a race now, and we'll get like boosts unlocked and everything, which is really cool. This is a nice little intro to a game. Here we go. Time to step up, and the actual race is do seem a little bit quicker than this as well and some of the tracks look really really nice it's like a sunset one on a beach which we're going to do next looks lovely really nice looking game awesome all voice acted you got battle modes with weapons and stuff which is really cool here we go we got some boosts we did it look at him we're on a beautiful looking track nice sunset we're going to be going across the beach and we are this dude with mac how awesome is this? So the way you unlock this guy is so busy. You progress through the game and you unlock sort of like a, a free stunt arena. And then there's these hats, like Max hats. Uh, there's 10 of them to collect. It doesn't take long. They're fairly easy to collect. Uh, you can like grind rails and stuff and it sort of changes the controls a little bit on the uh, on that game mode. But yeah, you, know, you collect 10 hats and you get Mac. And he's awesome. They all they all drive the same. They all play the same. There's no sort of heavy characters, fast characters, or anything. Or at least there's no stats that I've seen, and they all feel exactly the same. So that's a bit of a shame because they could have done something with that, but I guess they just wanted to keep it straightforward. As I'm assuming this was aimed at a younger audience. But look at this. It looks awesome. I wasn't expecting much at all, to be honest. And I've been playing it for a good few hours and having a really good time. Like I said, it is tough. The AI are relentless. And it's only on medium, so I haven't tried it on hard yet. Uh, but I recommend if you've got young kids and they're not, you know, you pick this up because it's, you know, sort of a kiddie looking game, I definitely recommend putting it on easy for them because they might struggle. But yeah, quality that it's got four player split screen. So it'll be a really good title if you have got younger kids and you want to play a game with them. This is definitely one to pick up. So at the moment on the PlayStation Store, this is running for about £10 on sale. I'm not entirely sure when the sale ends, but probably soon. They don't normally last for too long. Whoa, do a barrel roll. Oh man, I'm loving this. I was going to just do clips, but I'm actually enjoying this race, so I think we'll just stick with this. Yeah, I just completely messed that up, though. Look at him. Look at him. He's looking, he's looking angry, actually. It would be cool if you could get his trailer. That would be like full-on Optimus Prime. That would be amazing. Whoa. So they should do, shouldn't they? Transformers racing game. What could that be? You know, imagine like Sonic racing transformed, but you were Starscream. It'd be awesome. 
In fact, that's a genius idea. I would have just thought of that. That's amazing. You could have, like, I don't know, all the characters that make up Menasaur. You know, but then, like, they could transform and, and cause havoc on the track or something, you know? That'd be fun. Or they're just sort of in the background causing havoc, you know? Causing destruction and everything. Oh, we're not going to win. We're not going to win. Go away. Oh, you piss off. Oh, look at him over on the left. Oh, man, I told you it's not easy. <laughs> yes, Mac, you hero. Uh, Doctor Damage is an awesome one. I want to unlock him because he does the. Uh, he's an ambulance, but he's called a rambulance, and he does the little siren. He's like Nina, Nina. <laughs> so good. Well, Mac. Right. Oh, nice. So we'll go in. We'll do a battle mode, and then we'll probably call it there. Uh, I haven't decided if this is going to be just like chop and change or if I'm going to leave full bits in but you know either way you'll get a feel for it but we'll quickly go through so we've got events and there's a lot of events so you can just sort of do your race your battle race and everything and then these ones are locked you got take down best lap challenge and your master level events we've still got to unlock all them um, we've got stun showcase where you just got to do a load of tricks in like arenas and racetracks and then battle race which is what we're going to go into now we've got the cup series where you know sort of do three races at a time and you want to come first and everything you do helps you unlock. So you've got the Hall of Fame. And these are all the challenges I've done so far. And then these are all, obviously, challenges I haven't done. And the more you do, the more you build up your meter, the more things you unlock. Which is really, really cool. Um, I did think there was a race where I could race, like, a, a boss. But I'm entirely sure. But anyway, I digress. Uh, this is the playground, which isn't unlocked from the beginning. But then once, you, you know, once you've unlocked it, it's just sort of an arena and there's challenges and different things you can do in there, which is really cool. And yeah, what we'll do, we'll go into another race, but we'll do it as a battle race. And there's like 21 tracks, I think, which is really nice. I unlocked a new one, I think. What one was it? Uh, so we'll go to the airport one. That's a pretty decent level. We'll go airport. We'll pick a different character, though. We'll be Mater. And then also on the character, you've got different horns you can select. It'll be the train. Different color lights. Uh, which, again, you unlock these lights. So it started off, I just had the blue. And the turbo as well. You we can change the color off, so we'll make it pink. And then this, you can have it, I guess, sort of kids mode. You know, auto drift, so you haven't got to do the drifting mechanic yourself. Which is very straightforward. You just press left or right and hold the circle button. But, you know, for younger kids, which I'm assuming this is aimed at. <laughs> although I'm having a great time. But then, I'm a bit of a Cars fan anyway. I'm not a huge Disney fan overall, but I do like the Cars films, and I have enjoyed the last games. The I did have the Disney Infinity thing rally. as well, you know, of all the Toys to Life stuff. I probably still got them in the cupboard somewhere. All right, just rev it, rev it. Rev it, mate, yeah. Oh, that's the last one. Look at this. The colors are lovely. So yeah, it's such a cool game. I say, man, if you can pick this up for a decent price, I highly recommend it if you're a fan of kart races. Uh, just know that it's a little bit tougher than some of the others. Well, I guess Mario Kart, I think, and Crash Bandicoot, I guess. So, you know, a, a tough kart races as well. But this, I wasn't expecting it, you know, based on a on a Disney license and everything. I was expecting it just to be, you know, sort of just dominating all the races. This one does have a few little shortcuts. We could go down here or we could have gone left. Oh, man, I always forget to ram them. Oh, yeah, we're getting weapons, aren't we? What we got? I dropped a mine. Oh, oh, bloody hell. He's up, sunshine. He's up. I've got flat tires. Oh, no. There we go. We've got our tires back. Right, let's get... Oh, yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> We've got two in one, then. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. I bet split screen this would be a right laugh. And it would be really good online, but it doesn't have online. So you can look behind you with R1, but when you go into the stunt modes, R1 is like does like makes you do a 180 instead. Oh yeah, we go up inside the plane. Oh dear. Oh. And it does have a sort of blue shell weapon. So I've been in first a few times on previous races, and I get this targeting thing on me. And the only way you can, or the only way I've found to avoid that, and I even got an achievement for it was to have your boost, your turbo boost, up full. And then when you double tap square when it's up full, you get like a protective shield. 
And I did get the achievement for that, which was lucky. Whoa. All oh, the planes. Whoa. Ah. Oh, man. I'm not doing well at all. I right, will take the different route. I'm going to follow this dude. Whoa. I'm assuming we can go up that ramp as well, actually. Jump over. Oh, man. I didn't see that last time. Yeah, of course. That's amazing. Really need to learn these tracks. Oof. Boom. Get some. Oh, man. I, I genuinely love this. It's so good. Um, the only downside is that, like I said, it's not online. That would be great fun. So it would just be absolutely chaotic. Okay, I've got an oil slick. Let's drop that. And it shows you who you get as well in the top left. If you get anyone with your weapon, it comes up. Which is a nice touch. Oh! Just boosting. So you destroyed. Going up to the last lap. I'll go this way. I'm going to try and get that shortcut off that jump. I'm wondering if I'm going to be good enough to get that. But yeah, it's a shortcut here because you can jump. And then cut this corner. Let's drop the oil slick right in the corner. See if we get anyone. Final lap. Oh, I love the lighting. There we go. We got Lightning McQueen again. We're going both. both to oh, man. I keep popping my tyres. I was trying not to hit the plane on every lap. Yeah, these planes are coming in thick and fast, man. That's how lockdown's lifted. Everyone's going on holiday. Right, let's try and get this uh, jump. I'm going to come out wide. Oh, yeah. Oh, nice. And there's weapons up here. Oh, just rockets. Oh, that's cool. Oh, triple rockets. Oh, that's nice then. Doing that gives you guaranteed rockets. Neat feature. Hold down on the right stick. Shoot, shoot your weapons backwards. Oh, we are. I was about to say we're dominating, but we haven't got that much of a lead. And he takes one weapon and it's game over. Come on. Let's get to the end. Oh no, this is the uh, the thing I was telling you about, like the blue shield. Blue shell, sorry. Uh, you bloody bastard. Oh, I've got quite a decent lead actually, so we might be alright. Drop the landmine. Magnetic mine, oh that's cool. So I'm assuming it will then, even if they don't drive straight over it, here we go, is the end. Yeah, buddy. Oh, I love it. I was only going to do clips, but I think I'm going to do like whole races. This is awesome. I highly recommend this. This is, yeah, really, really fun. One, just maybe one thing I would tweak if possible, and that would be just up that speed speed slightly. When you've got the boost and everything, it's pretty decent. And when it's all chaotic and they're all around you, it's, it feels fast. But when you're just going down a straight, it's just missing that sort of that's that little extra, you know? But all in all, I'm really happy with this. I'm loving it. Got some cool characters to unlock. Got some new perks. Hey, we got Mato with the uh, Evil Knievel. Awesome. Oh, that's cool. Glad we got that. Nice. So, yeah, if, if you're a fan of car races, you know, arcade races, anything like that, I highly recommend this. It's, it's good fun. Very good fun. Um, and definitely, if you've got people around and, and you can do like sort of four players split screen I imagine that'll be super awesome so until next time stay safe all the usual jabs like and subscribe all that stuff and thanks for tuning in to all my videos thanks to all my new subscribers uh, drop comments down below let me know who you are and yeah stay safe